Hi everyone, so in today's video, we will talk about how you can organize your charts on WhatsApp using EasyBee. So once you download the EasyBee Chrome extension, you will see a top bar and a side panel on your WhatsApp web, just like you see on So the first step you have to do is log in on WhatsApp using the EasyBee Chrome extension. You can log in using the top panel over here and after you log in, you'll see a screen like this. So once you're logged in, you see you will see certain labels on the top of your WhatsApp. These are called system labels. These are labels that system has predefined for you. So some of the labels include unread, groups, mentions, needs reply, awaiting reply. These labels are self-explanatory. For example, unread shows you unread charts, group shows you groups of your WhatsApp, and so on. Now you can also create your own custom labels and organize your charts within those custom labels. So we will just create a custom label and show you how you can do that. Clicking on plus, you can create a custom label. While creating a label, you are given the two options. You can create either a funnel or a label. So the difference between a funnel and a label is, a funnel is a stage-based list. For example, a sales funnel. A sales funnel is a funnel which has stages such as inquiry, follow-up, Closure. So that's a stage that a lead goes through, that's a funnel. Whereas a normal label is basically a list in which you can have, you can categorize charts into. So now let's say we will create a sales funnel for your example. So let's create a sales funnel. Uh, let's first create a sales funnel. Let's move the toggle to the sales and then create a, uh, let's move the toggle to the sales and then create stages such as inquiry and the second stage can be follow-up and the third stage can be closed so we can have a normal sales funnel with just three stages inquiry follow-up and closed and just save this funnel so now as you can see once we have created this funnel this funnel gets created and it's done over here now what you can do is you can add charts into this funnel by clicking on the add button now if we click on add we can add a particular chart into this funnel if you click on add and if you save it Let's just add these two people in this and now we can save it. So now these two people are added into the sales funnel. Anything that's added to the sales funnel automatically gets added to the inquiry stage. So now you can click on a particular chart and you can see a drop down here that allows you to change a stage of the chart. You can move a chart from inquiry to follow up or follow up to close. Let's say we move someone from inquiry to follow up. So now you can see inquiry has one and follow up has one. If you see follow up, this chart has now moved to follow up. It was earlier in inquiry and now it's in follow-up. So now one is in inquiry and one is in follow-up. So as you can see, you can manage your complete pipeline using this funnel feature. Now, what we have shown you is a very simple example of a funnel pipeline feature. You can create complicated funnels according to your business requirement. And you can also create labels instead of funnels if funnel is not something that you're looking for. Uh, but for example, you can create a sales funnel, you can create an account management funnel and satisfy your requirements. This drop-down helps you manage your funnel and move charts from one stage to the other. So I hope this helps you manage your conversations and move charts around. Uh, just one more thing I would like to show you. If you are in all conversations, if you go back and go to all charts, and if you would like to move any chart, let's say if you would like to move, click on this chart, and if you would like to move any chart into any label, you can just click on this label icon over here and you can move this chart into any of this label. So now, as you can see, we move this chart into the sales funnel. If you go to sales, see this chart is now moved. So on every chart, there is this label icon that allows you to move a particular chart into that particular label. So you can add a chart into a label from anywhere. Moreover, you can also perform operations on a particular label using the drop down, which is available next to every label. Clicking on the drop down, you see a pop up opens up which has options such as add contacts to label. Clicking on this, you can also add contacts to label. The next option is mark all as red. Let's say you would like to mark all charts in a particular label as red, you can use this. Edit label allows you to change the stages, change the name of a label, and so on. Upload via Excel. Let's say you have a lot of contacts in an Excel that you would like to upload to a label, you can use this option for that. And lastly, download contacts. Let's say if you use EZP on a regular basis and tomorrow if you would like to download all the contacts of the label in an Excel, you can do that using this option. So I hope this video helped you understand 
how you can organize charts using labels and funnels using EZB on WhatsApp. So your WhatsApp need not be crazy anymore. Start using EZB to organize your charts on WhatsApp. Thank you very much. Please give us your questions and comments on your YouTube comments. Thank you.